Okay, so here it is, my fabulous new Atari 2600, a.k.a. the Dark Vader, not Darth Vader, the Dark Vader model. Uh, we had to uh, get a new motherboard for it. The one that uh, was on there, that was the old motherboard. That chip right there is the uh, custom TIA chip. It was bad, and the chip was 12 bucks. Capacitor was going to be another three or four it needed to be replaced. Capacitor there, capacitor there. I mean, I, I was sitting there looking at about, you know, probably $25 to $30 in parts. Well, the guys at Best Electronics, you can find them. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. They actually bought out an entire Atari warehouse at one point from, I guess, the previous owners of Atari, which would have been Warner. And uh, they had a bunch of new, uh, new old stock boards, including a brand new new old stock board for the 2600A. Okay, now keeping in mind, my power supply is original. Y'all remember those adapters? Yeah, kind of hard to believe. Yeah, um, that's original, and then my joysticks and pals are original, obviously the case is. But otherwise, the board is brand new. So it's basically like having a brand new Atari. Now, here's the scary thing. The unit I bought actually had uh, several games with it, and that's one of them. Okay, noted as the worst video game in the history of mankind. Now, I have not turned on the unit yet. I'm kind of, uh, I'm ready. So, you know, we're going to have the inaugural turn on of the Atari, the new 2014 Atari 2600A. And there's E.T.'s cute little face. Oh, dear God, do you see uh, videos coming in the near future where I play this and, and other greats like Pac-Man? Yeah, probably so. Anyways, it's nice to see that, you know, it still works. It works great. Definitely will be an added addition to the collection around here. Thanks for watching.